Monday, so we got to give you a new Fan of the Week question brought to you by the Volo Museum. On our Facebook page, we're asking you, what's your favorite summer camp activity? Head on over there and answer for your chance to be our Fan of the Week and go off to the Volo Museum with a family four-pack. Coming up tomorrow, the perfect book for your kids to read this summer. Speaking of books, yeah. before we get to our weekend <laughs> recap, we got a huge uh, announcement. Huge! It's very, very exciting. The Rock Republic Library is truly opening their doors for you this month. We have spent so much time there. I mean, so much can you believe time. that's the building? No. Well, I don't think you actually saw it in person there. You didn't start till no. like right after, but I can't believe that building is really here. It's so amazing. And they are inviting us all to come see them the first real Saturday of summer. Okay. June 22nd is when the library is going to be open to the, the public. public. This is awesome. We've been in there many times. Uh, Send that beam that's still up there somewhere hidden behind all somewhere. the walls. And yeah. it's so exciting that it's officially open for everyone to check out on June 22nd. We have all the details on the Good Day Stateline website and on our Facebook uh, as to when they are closing yeah. the current interim library and everything you need to know. So we're so excited for I that. I cannot wait for it. All right, now, but you didn't go to the library this no, weekend, I, I don't not, think. What'd you do? I didn't go to the My mom was still in town. <laughs> she got me for the entire week. Girl, awesome. she was all over Rockford. <laughs> so the first thing we did was Creative uh, Arts Festival. It was so fun. We made it these awesome. hats. Um, they had like a lot of like activities. I was really really stunned because they was doing like they were doing live mural paintings, but they were doing live painting. Human painting. Oh yes. Yes. And I was shook. It's like I could not believe that at all. And then so that was really fun. Afterwards, we went to City Market because you know they were in the kind of same area. Yeah, yeah. Took her to my favorite restaurant, Aviant. Then we went to um, I can't think of the name, but you recommended the store, and she absolutely loved it. They have like different. Well, I'm gonna need more information. <laughs> they have like different, lots of different things. I gotta think of the name. Okay. And then we, I took her to the <laughs> farmers market, and we had a ball. Like absolutely loved. It was pouring. Yeah, though. Bushel and Peck. Is that it, in Beloit? No. Yes, this one is Beloit. Yes, okay. this one is Beloit. It was absolutely. Dorman, but we still had a good time. It looked she like was all over the place in Rockford. I was happy to be what I did this weekend, but I was super sad to miss all of the creative. The like I was like, can we just do that again? Because yeah. I was in Colorado. Yeah. Well, I was also in Utah and <laughs> Milwaukee because I flew all over the world. Um, I organized things a little different. This is all the things I ate and drank okay. uh, this weekend, though I did have more than that. I want to point out there that those M&Ms were $14 at O'Hare. I did not buy them. I wouldn't have bought them I waited until I was in Colorado to buy them at a grocery store. I went to Michaela's wedding. Michaela, who used to work with me at 97ZOK. Um, it was in Colorado, and it was beautiful. Her dream was to have a disco rodeo wedding, and when we see the pictures of the wedding, uh, you will see that that, in fact, happened. Like Everything was perfect. It was a beautiful day. Those are my new friends. And, of course, I found the <laughs> only girl, like little girl to hang out with. That's Michaela's niece, Quinn. <laughs> we're besties now. Um, it was beautiful, and you can see more photos on my Instagram page. Hopefully you had a great weekend, too. We'd love to hear about it, and let us know on Facebook. We'll see you tomorrow night. Bye-bye.